Hi, Red Eye. I'm Julianne Nicholson. I'm Juliette Lewis. And, and we're, we're from, from the movie August Osage, Osage County. <laughs> it's which coming opens out here January 3rd. Watch it. Thanks so much for taking the time today, guys. Really appreciate it. Juliette, I saw you recently tweeted love for the Beastie Boys' ill communication yes. and said, Kanye's got nothing on Beasties. Have you heard from Kanye yet? And what did he say? No. I, do you think he would get mad at that? Wait, oh yeah, he, well, <laughs> <laughs> he's got nothing on these. Yeah, that was just more, well, here's what it is, because I revere and think Kanye West is amazing and revolutionary as a musician, and so it was showing how great um, Beastie Boys was, were, I don't know, Ill Communication, have you heard it recently? Uh, not the recently, but it amazing. is fantastic. Yeah. I think the answer to, would Kanye get mad about this is, Usually <laughs> yes, I think. Yeah, I think I'm pretty I sure know. if he's anywhere perceived as anywhere other than number other one, one it's genius. not. It's not good. <laughs> we can have a creative discussion. How about that? Well, I assumed after August you just wanted to stir up the most possible drama at any ah, time. Is that right? No, <laughs> I just say stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys have talked about this movie uh, being something that people can see, and if nothing else, saying, well, at least my family's not this crazy. What if someone sees August of Sage <laughs> County and says, uh-oh, uh -uh. that is exactly uh -huh. my family? Poor them. <laughs> I don't know. I think people... <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. You're like, they're still living? No. Um, I think w what's great about this is you will see seeds of... Not necessarily your family, but family dynamics. You know, the awkward speeches at a table. Um, everyone I know is touched by addiction in some way or another, whether it's a distant cousin or an uncle or this. So that there's that theme. And then how people deal with, how you can have three sisters, we play sisters, um, deal with their parents and uh, abuse, neglect, sure. and upbringing so differently. It's like birth order is such an interesting thing where you fall on the family and how that informs your whole life, really. Also, the keeping secrets, don't do it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of people, you know, deal with how we cover things and what we choose to reveal and, and, and within our family. And how good are you guys at keeping secrets? I'm terrible. I think I'm pretty bad at it also. <laughs> That's yeah. the great irony. I think I flush. Saying. Yeah. I think I'm flushing just thinking about keeping a secret. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm it's like not, when a cop drives good. by and you're not speeding, but you still. Feel I panic. Like... I think I'm breaking a law. If I see a policeman, I'm pretty sure I'm doing something wrong. Like I've sto always, I think I've stolen something, and when I'm gonna walk out of a store, I think, did I steal anything? Like in case the alarm goes yeah. off. I, I, yeah. I didn't steal anything. That's the great irony. That's something that someone who stole something would say. <laughs> I swear, like, officer. I've watched and read a lot of the interviews you guys have done about this movie, and of course, everyone's singing the praises of Meryl Streep. She's phenomenal. But something that I was wondering, you know, even LeBron James has an off game. Do you think actors, even the best of them, still have takes that are off? That was not my experience watching it. Meryl. She may <laughs> feel that about her own work, yeah. but, but watching her, I never... I was like, oh man, <laughs> she messed that one up. That never, <laughs> never. That never that happened. That sucked, Meryl. You want to take that one again, Miss Streep? No, she <laughs> no. is amazing. Every time she opens her mouth, it's magic. In one way or another, yep. it's pretty It's not the same magic. That's, yeah. That seems like it would be pretty rare, right? Because even the best, like we said. Yeah, the, pretty, the best pretty much are always striving for a level of honesty. And um, can there be an off game? I'm sure, yeah, yeah. I mean, do you guys have takes where after it's over, you're like, oh, that was not the Yeah, 100,000%. What are you kidding? Because <laughs> you're always striving for better than great. Well, I was wondering if I felt that the movie, because it certainly makes marriage seem very difficult and people having trouble staying together, and if I felt like the movie was cynical about marriage or about people in that institution, which hmm. brings up, should we be hating the player or the game? <laughs> <laughs> your questions. Who is your demographic? 18 Who's to 35. Who's your editor? Let me talk to him. Wait, what? Because it's good or bad? No, it's they're excellent. making me laugh. I love it. <laughs> Please. And laughter is a good thing. Um, the player of the game. Wait, about marriage? <laughs> yeah. I don't understand. That. I don't th like, I think is I'm too, the old. Is I'm too the, old to understand that Is it question. the people or the institution in this case where marriage is being so difficult, but is it because the people invested in, in, in it? In this oh, particular, in this people. movie? What? Yeah. Um, it's the people. The institution, it means, it should mean different things for different people, the institution of marriage. I mean, in the beginning of time, 
we know it was a it was for state or tax purpose or something you know i don't know but now i think it's a it's a really noble endeavor and still i'm single but i still think that the attempt at finding harmony for long term with another human being is a beautiful thing uh, you know it's funny because i've actually been thinking about this i've heard of a couple of people recently who are breaking up who are divorcing and it's made me question, is it, is it those people? Is it they, you know, you can't speak to anybody else's marriage. I see you have a wedding ring on. Nope. You, so it's hard. It's hard to be married. But at what point, why does one couple throw in the towel? Why does someone go through that period, hopefully, to something better again? A marriage, a life is long. A marriage is yeah. hopefully long. And there's going to be ups and downs. But it's, it's definitely, you know, you, it's, it's, it can be a challenge to spend your life with someone. Mm. Juliet, you said that you think rage can be funny sometimes. It reminded me of the Seinfeld episode where Jerry's getting really mad at him and just <laughs> laughing at him. Why, why do you think rage can be funny like that? Oh, dear. I grew up with a mom that would fly off the handle, <laughs> and all her kids, we'd be like <laughs> <laughs> laughing because she's Looney Tunes. She was a single mom working her ass off with her little rug rats. You know, and in, half the time people are getting mad over the littlest thing, you know, like, who didn't put the orange juice away? <laughs> you know, it's, it's... And she's laughing. It's that. She knows it because she's a mom. I've said, I think I've got upset for worse. It's yeah, so... Or for less, I um, So, and then there can... It, rage is not funny if it's threatening your physical person. But even when you see two guys who are about to fight in a bar, I mean, come on. There's nothing more goofy than this. Over who forgot to put the orange juice away. Right, exactly. There, that is probably like, you know, I was standing here. No, I was standing here. Like, what? What are you guys? Uh, I like your tough guy impression. <laughs> That's Juliet as a man. Yeah, no, I've seen it see, growing up in junior high. Growing up in junior high school. Like, that's all I grew up. Be when two guys that do shoulder to shoulder. What's up? What's up? Do What's something. Up? Yeah, he knows. He's a guy. I obviously have been in so many, many, many fist many fights, fights in my life right? yeah. all the time. So yes, rage is funny unless it has a gun or a knife. It's not funny.